Tulsa police officers, they were out busy patrolling today looking for those with a lead foot. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Brian Dorman. And I'm Lori Fulbright. They caught a bunch of people speeding today, but instead of giving out tickets, those officers gave out some gift cards. News on 6 is Kristen Weaver is live tonight after riding along with those surprises. Kristen. Well, Brian and Lori, Tulsa police officer Stephen Parrish says an anonymous donor gave them nine $100 gift cards to give out to people, and he says the look on their faces, it made it all worth it. Union 374. Officer Stephen Parrish keeps people safe as a traffic enforcement officer for Tulsa police. A big part of that is making sure people aren't speeding. We can catch anybody in the act. Officer Parrish parked on Peoria with a radar gun in hand, but these traffic stops were a little different. We've got this apartment complex across the street in the school down there. Amaya Tiger was worried at first. So on behalf of the Tulsa Police Department, uh, instead of a ticket. <laughs> Until the big reveal, $100 to Target. I got a, a gift card from the Tulsa Police Department. Officer Parrish was back in his SUV to find another person to surprise. Another one, 15. Ledna Barnes was next. We just want to say Merry Christmas. Here's a Target gift card. There's $100 on there, okay? Oh my God, thank you! <laughs> Hello. One final stop turned a Tulsa woman's entire Christmas around for her and her young son. Thank you so much. The gift card is going straight to this little guy. I didn't really know how I was going to get Christmas for him this year, so... I'm super grateful. Parish hopes people slow down to make sure everyone has a safe a and good. joyful Christmas this year. Able to impact maybe their situation, make their uh, holiday a little bit better. Now this was Officer Parrish's first time giving out the gift cards and he hopes it makes everyone ho everyone's holiday a little bit brighter. Live in Tulsa, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.